I'm Brian Painter of Oklahoma, and today I'm joined by Gary McManus of the Oklahoma Climatological Survey. And today, Gary, we're just going to kind of talk about the winter weather so far. And uh, can you kind of give me an idea? And and the key there is so far. Uh, yeah. Can you kind of give me an idea of what we've seen this winter in 2011, 2012? It does sort of seem like from now on that anything goes with Oklahoma weather, no matter what the season. You know, this winter has been, to put it simply, it's been much above normal temperature-wise. We've been very warm. We had uh, across the state uh, a, a very warm December. Uh, it was cool in the Panhandle with that big snow they had, the blizzard. Um, but we also had the eighth warmest January on record. So when you combine December and January, it was the 16th warmest December-January period in Oklahoma statewide since 1895. So. Uh, a little bit warmer in January. Um, we, we've sort of taken a little bit of a downturn in February. It's nothing drastic. It's still just a little bit below or near normal. So it just feels a lot colder because of what we've had previously. You know, we have some cool temperatures right now, and and uh, we we've been warm uh, above average. Have some cool temperatures right now. They say by next Tuesday we may be back up to 60. Uh, are Oklahoma winters historically just kind of a mixed bag? Yeah, very much so. You know, we go uh, intervening periods where we have these storm systems come through, dump some snow or rain, but then it gets sunny and, and fairly pleasant for winter time, you know, for the next several days. So that, that's typical for Oklahoma. Now, when you string uh, some of this stuff together, you know, like last year when we had the, the snow from late January through mid-February, that's unusual to string it all together at once. It's unusual to string all this warm weather together uh, for December and January. So, you know, it seems like now we're more back to a, a much more variable pattern for, for winter, which is more typical for Oklahoma. What are you hearing as far as long term, uh, as far as predictions? Uh, well, you know, we still have the La Nina that's it's starting to fade. Normally, during the La Nina period, we would expect a little bit drier, a little bit warmer than normal. It's definitely been warmer than normal. The dry hasn't really worked out like it was supposed to, and that's, you know, a blessing with the, the severe drought that we had uh, over the last year, year and a half or so. Um, I, I look for us to warm up again once we get into the spring months, uh, a little bit warmer than normal, thanks to that La Nina that's still there. Um, uh, you know, but, but the variability is back a little bit. Uh, Precipitation-wise, I think we're still going to see uh, precipitation uh, over the next couple of weeks, you know, affect the state. So maybe a little bit more drought relief uh, as we go into to, to the mid, late parts of February. Now, if we can mix the a little bit colder air with a little bit wetter weather, then we might see uh, just a little bit of winter precipitation instead of this rain that we've been getting. And we've seen that before, even in late March. Right. Now, it was 2009, and March 28th, 29th, somewhere around there, we had 26 inches of snow up in northwest Oklahoma. That's not unheard of, because all you need is a good dose of cold air uh, and one of those strong storm systems. And there's a lot more moisture to work with as we get into the spring months, like March and April. So you just mix those two together, and you can get those really uh, high snowfall totals, especially in northwestern Oklahoma or in the Panhandle. But, you know, we're not that far away down here in central Oklahoma either. So once we get into April, it starts to taper off a bit, the danger. But um, one of the things we worry about also would be just a simple cold air outbreak because we have been so warm. So, you know, the plants, the animal life, we're all sort of thinking the spring's already here. Um, if we get a real bad freeze event, uh, some of the plants might not be ready for that because it's been so warm. It's awfully tough to, to get those buds back into the tree limbs once they started to come out and, you know, the wheat's matured a little bit more. So a little bit of cold, cold air, some more prolonged cold weather will actually do us some good. It'll stop the, the maturing of those plants and, and get us more, you know, ready for an actual freeze event. All right. Thanks very much for coming in. My pleasure.